Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com doing a video showing you how to route your Samsung Galaxy S4, specifically the Sprint model and the International Exynos model, the GTI 9500 model. Uh, Sprint pushed out an update, an MDL update that allowed for my previous video not to work. So I'm doing an updated video for Sprint users along with the Exynos variant of the Galaxy S4. So it's very simple. Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. First of all, you're going to want to uh, download the correct file. So go ahead and click on the link in the description of the video. It'll take you to my website right here. You'll see root the Sprint and International Exynos Samsung Galaxy S4. You'll see two download links right here. There's a Sprint one and an International one. Just click on whichever one is relevant to you. Again, I have Sprint, so I'm going to click on Sprint. And down at the bottom here, you'll, you will see there's a download right there. There's a download link. Click on that and download it. It will be a zip file. And once you have it downloaded, it will look like this. Uh, what I recommend doing is creating a folder on your desktop. Just go ahead and right click and uh, highlight new folder and create a new folder. And just call it something like S4 root. So you know what it's called. I already have one called that actually. So I'm going to call it something S4 root uh, one. So I'm going to call it that. And you'll see right there what you, what you can now do is double click on that CF auto root zip file that you just downloaded. And inside you'll see three files. Just go ahead and highlight all three of them and click and drag them over to this folder right here. Um, so go ahead and do that. And once you're done, you can double click on that folder on your desktop and inside you will actually see those three files. Once you have these three files in this folder, we're just about ready to go. Right click on this Odin 3 v1.85 and hit run as administrator and go ahead and allow it user account control. And it's going to look like this. So it'll say CF auto root up at the top. Yours might say something different if you are using the Exynos variant. Uh, but all you have to do is just go ahead and click on this PDA button right here. Press the PDA button and then navigate to that uh, folder that we just created on the desktop that should be called S4 root. So double click on that and inside you should see a tar file or MD5 file. Um, it might say the .md5 extension, it might not. If it doesn't, no big deal. But just go ahead and click that file, that other file that's in that folder we just created. Double click on it. It should put it in the PDA slide. It should check the PDA box. Make sure only auto reboots checked right there. And we're just about ready to go. What we can do now is go ahead and put our phone into download mode, which is needed to do what we need to do. Uh, so let's go ahead and go to our phone. Okay, so to put our phone into download mode, go ahead and just power off the device. This isn't going to wipe any data when you root your device, so you don't have to worry about that. It's very simple. Uh, so just let it fully power off. And once fully shut down to get into download mode, go ahead and press and hold volume down, the home button and power button all at the same time. Press and hold all three of them. Keep it held down until you see the screen light up. You can let go once this warning screen pops up. And you'll see volume up to continue, press volume up, and it will take us into download mode. Once you are in download mode, you can grab your micro USB cable and just plug it on into your PC. So plug it on in, go back to your computer. And once we're back to our computer, you'll see an Odin, you'll see a yellow box pop up. It'll say COM and then a number. It doesn't matter what the number is, just make sure a yellow box pops up that does say COM. If it does not, that means Odin does not recognize your phone. Some troubleshooting steps would be to install drivers. I'll link to those on my website. Um, try a different USB port, try a different cable as well. That's a big part if Odin uh, fails for whatever reason. But anyways, once uh, the yellow box is there, we're ready to go. Just go ahead and press the start button in Odin and let it run through. It should only take not long at all, actually. I'll go ahead and you'll see a progress bar on the phone and in Odin. And then once it's done, it'll automatically reboot our device. Mine took eight seconds. You'll see it says pass, and then our device will be rebooted. And that should be it. Um, I believe it should just reboot our phone now, and we should be fully rooted. Okay, it looks like it's going to go ahead and run through this recovery step. I believe it's actually going to flash um, the Super SU zip and give us root access. So let it run through this process. Once it's done with that, it will reboot the phone once more. This first boot up might take a little bit longer than usual. I believe cash was wiped, so this first boot up might take a little bit longer, but let it boot up and I'll be right back once it's done. All right, so my phone is fully booted up. It didn't take long at all. Go ahead and go into your app drawer and inside of it, you will see an app called Super SU right there. Uh, that just lets you know that your phone is rooted. To double check, I downloaded an application called Root Checker. You can just find it in the Play Store, it's free. I'm gonna hit Agree and hit OK. And I'm just gonna verify root access, allow it, grant it super user permissions right there, and then you should be good to go. Congratulations, this device has root access. 
and you're done. So your phone is now rooted. You can install custom recovery. I have a video showing you how to do so. I will link to that in the description of the video. I'm also, if you have a Sprint variant, I'm also going to be doing a free Wi-Fi tethering video very soon. So check that out. I'll link to it in the description once it becomes available. I do have videos on how to unroot if you need to get back to stock. Again, I can link to that in the description. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. Uh, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to me as well. I'd really appreciate it. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.